Welcome to this video. Because it's your first time to open Clear SCADA, you will have to click on the server icon and check the toolbar down below. Follow the steps to create a new server. The setup should be simple. So feel free to stop the video and continue watching after you finish the setup. And then open the Vuex application. Vuex should represent the client application that will connect to our servers to display the configurations and mimics. The first thing you might notice about Vuex is that it is similar to the standard Microsoft Windows Explorer user interface. On the left hand side, you will find the display pane. This pane changes according to what you select from the view tab. In the view tab, we have four icons that we will be using frequently. The database icon sets the Explorer pane in Vuex to display the database pane, which provides access to the items in the database. We will use it extensively when creating and configuring the system. The Queries icon sets the Explorer pane in Vuex to display the Queries pane, which provides access to the SQL Queries lists, for example, a list of all database points. The Display Area of Interest pane displays the Area of Interest pane. This feature allows you to configure each system alarm with an area that can be used to simplify the filtering and management of alarms. This feature is turned off by default and may be grayed out in your ribbon. At the end of the screen, you will find the primary alarm display in Vuex. All alarms from the system are reported in the alarm banner, which is normally located at the bottom of the Vuex display. To the left you will find two numbers, both of them are called the alarm enunciator. It turns red when a new alarm is raised. It shows the total number of alarms at the bottom number and a total number of unacknowledged alarms at the top number on the system. The alarms in the alarm banner can be handled via the context-sensitive menu for each alarm, and we will see it in a few seconds. Now let's close our pane and log on to our database. First, make sure your database is turned on. In our case it's not, so we will turn the database on. Now enter your database username and password. Disable the alarm bell by right-click on the enunciator and select Disable the alarm. Now we will right-click the active alarms displayed in the alarm banner. A context-sensitive menu is displayed. Select the Locate in Database Explorer option. The database pane expands automatically, revealing the location of the runtime alarm object with which the alarm is associated. The object is highlighted. All lists, with the exception of the alarm list, use structured query language or SQL to populate the lists with data from the database. You can use the filtering and sorting features of the lists to control the information that is shown in the list. To display the event list, click the events symbol on the home ribbon. Right-click the list and then select filter from the menu. Alternatively, press F7. Click add and then configure the settings as a category will be time. Select is greater than and select the current hour. After this configuration, the events list is filtered to show only those events generated this hour, rather than for the default period, which is the previous 24 hours. You can use the filter dialog to add other filters, edit or remove existing filters, and apply advanced filters that you define in SQL. You can also use the filtering option on displaying a list of all points. For example, all points whose full name contains the word oil. ClearSCADA includes a sorting feature that allows you to control the order of the data shown in a list. Sorting a list can make it easier to view and interpret the information. To sort the list directly, click the column headings. 
This action toggles the order of the items listed in the column between ascending and descending. Display the list that you want to sort. For example, the alarm list. Select the time entry in the list and use the move up button to move it to the top of the list. The order of the entries in the list determines the order in which the sorting is applied. Note that the default sort order of the alarm list and banner is changed. We recommend you try all the exercises step by step with the video. Now you are familiar with Vuex, let's talk about the system architecture. See you next time.